Today in the Fast Five with Doug, we're at Guardian Angels Primary School at Ashmore. And we have a wonderful opportunity to learn a little bit more about Danielle Carter, principal at Guardian Angels. This is her second year. And Danielle, let's start. You've been one year in the role. What are you excited about this year? Well, I think last year was about building connections and actually looking at, you know, the foundations that the school had in place. And I think we, we named some key practices that are our way. Um, and I think I'm really looking forward to having the team work in that collaborative, consistent way so that students come through and teachers come through, know that it's our way and these are the practices and how we do things. Fantastic. So what can parents expect from Principal Carter in 2022? I, when I talk to parents, I always say, you know, there are three things um, that are really important to us at GA. And one is that they're coming into a safe environment that sort of promotes um, students gaining values and dispositions. And, you know, that's really important that they know that when they come here, they're going to leave as good people and people that are going to make a difference to their world. I say that learning is at the forefront, isn't it, of everything that we do, you know, and learning progress, every child that comes to us is different. You know, we've got a myriad of uh, tools that we can use to track students and we're making sure that there is progress in place for each student. And we're equipping our teachers with using practices that are high impact practices, research based practices. And that's what we want. We want our students to reach their potential in learning. And the last thing I say, we do it in partnership with you. You know, it's about respect. It's about communication and collaboration. And it's not a journey that, you know, just happens at school. It's, it's all of us contributing to make, you know, that powerful journey for that young student. Well, you've won me. <laughs> but the role of a principal is, is challenging and there are complexities with, with that role. What are some of the things or areas that you see are being challenges for the future in your role as principal? Yeah, well, I'd say the last two years have been the biggest challenge I've ever faced in regards to the COVID situation, you know. Uh, thinking about we've got parents in year two that actually haven't experienced the wholeness of school, you know, relationships, celebrations of those special events that their kids have, you know, those connections in the classroom so they can actually go through the classrooms and see the learning, you know, um, and those community events. And I've, we've looked at different ways that we can innovate, you know, and connect with them, but there is nothing like the face-to-face -face and me still, you know, in my second year, there are some parents that I haven't had the opportunity to have this conversation with. So I suppose it's that way that we can continue to provide that fullness of school, you know, in these different mm. times. We went for a little wander around the school and I, I was really impressed at the classrooms and the level of innovation already present, particularly in those senior rooms. As a principal, taking that another step forward, where do you see the opportunities for the future? Yeah. for these students at Guardian Angels? I suppose the key thing that we continually talk about is um, that authentic student voice. And it's not seeing student voice as an add-on, it's actually seeing it as a way of being within our place. And we can transfer voice to parent voice as well and teacher voice, but if we look at the student voice, it's that how do we harness students' ideas? How do we get them to think for the good of everyone? Mm. How do we actually um, empower them for ownership and I think if we truly embed that across the board in everything we do you know we're going to have innovative kids creative students we're going to develop those citizens that are contributing to their world and hopefully create a few entrepreneurs in the uh, in the process. Danielle it's really inspirational for me to hear that from you and thank you for sharing that but when you're not a principal you're living on the beautiful Gold Coast what do you do? Growing up in a family of boys, so I'm an avid sports person. So I love watching sports and it's particularly cheering for my mighty Canberra Raiders. Um, okay. So, um, and also probably, you know, that bit of downtime, I'm a jigsaw. -er. So I sit there and just that time to stop, you know, and um, be um, is something I really enjoy. Danielle Carter, Principal of Guardian Angels at Ashmore. Thank you for sharing a little bit of you with us in the Fast Five with Dr. Doug.